Hey guys, just doing a review of uh, my first gear, Mac Granite with the Little Boy Talbert trailer, 150 a scale. Uh, just want to Oops, sorry about that. <clears throat> Just want to give you a little review of this truck. Um, this is by the city of Chicago. Um, it's a really nice, really nice truck. I have to say, I really like the colors on it. I like the brown frame with the light blue body on it. Um, as you can see, it's got the wide load sign on the front, which is removable from when you're not carrying a wide load it does have the push guard on the front there the Mac writing on the grill the Mac Bulldog on the hood got the cab lights the air horns the amber beacon light single stack it has a headache bar on the back here. As you can see, it's got the uh, three lines there for your airlines and your lights for the truck. Um, it does have the fifth wheel on there, which is not movable. Um, on the real one, as you can tell, you can shift the fifth wheel forwards or backwards to adjust the weight for the load um, it has the chrome gas tank with the dual air tanks in front of it um, one other thing is it does have a steerable wheel but it doesn't turn too too far but it's not too bad um, it does not really have any suspension on it Then over here, you got your other gas tank, you got your battery box, another air tank, and over here, that is your hydraulic tank if you were having a dump trailer or, or whatever you're running on here, or if the, uh, the Talbert trailer doesn't have a pony motor on it, it runs off the hydraulics, you run it off that there. Then underneath the truck, you got the undercarriage, obviously. You got your steering linkage. You got the oil pan, transmission. Uh, you can see right there the PTO drive off the transmission that hooks up to the hydraulic tank. Um, you got your rear axles there. Um, let's see. You got your air ride suspension right there. Let's see if I can get any more on there. There you go, there's the other pumpkin and your diff lock right there and that, those canisters in the back are for your brakes. You got your tail lights, you got your mud flaps which are plastic, they don't move any but I have to say it's really nice. Then inside there you've got your Mac engine, diesel obviously and I forgot my pick um, these doors are a bit hard to open, but they do. Let me see if I can get it myself. There we go. Oh, come on. I don't know how well you can see inside the cab, but pretty detailed cab, which is really nice. And then, uh, Move that out of the way. <clears throat> then you've got the Talbert trailer with your line connections right there. Your fold down ramps. And uh, it does come apart. It is a little bit of a pain, but it's not too bad. Pull that down. Fold your ramps out. Let me back up a little bit here. And, uh, Then you can drive your load on and off there, which is really nice. And then the truck would come 
back up and realign with those pins but it's always a lot harder than you think You got the wings right here to put your planks on to widen the load so your machine sits on there properly, which is really nice. As you can see right there, you got your warning tape all across the side there. This has got the three axles and it does have a little bit of give on the rear wheels. You got the wooden planks up across the top there. Um, the undercarriage, you got all your braces and everything. Then, right there on the rear axle, you got your airbags and air lines for the brakes. Then, across the back there, you got your wide load sign with the warning beacons. Brake lights, tail lights, marker lights. Overall, just a really nice, nice model. I've just started getting into the 150th collection. Uh, I can't find any of the equipment that I really like. Kind of like that guy right there. My Lieber 904. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.